On today's Daily Slab, we are going to look at the avalanche, his historic collapse. We are also going to cover a impressive, impressive playoff performance, one of the best all time. And we are going to take a closer look at a Bobby Witt card that sold uh, a one Dynasty card and one Bowman Chrome card. So sit back, relax, and enjoy today's Daily Slab. Welcome everyone to the Daily Slab. I am Nate, and our trender for today is Minko Rontanen. So the Finnish right winger for the Avalanche played a pretty good series despite the Avalanche having one of the most disappointing exits to NHL playoffs in a long time. They were the number one seed, they were the former champions, and they lose to the Kraken, who were quite literally playing in their first playoff series ever as an organization. Never before been in the playoffs. It was their second year in the in the in the NHL. They're in the playoffs for the first time, and they beat the Avalanche. Very, very impressive. Very impressive. But not impressive for the Avalanche. But Miko, uh, regardless of what the rest of his team did, it wasn't Miko's fault that they didn't win. Uh, he had seven goals, three assists on the series, and that combined it for ten points, which was... Good for fifth at the time of his last game, fifth in the entire NHL playoffs. So he played amazingly. The rest of the team sort of failed him, obviously. Going seven games and losing to the Kraken is a tough scene. But his cards, what's interesting here is that if he hadn't played well, I suspect that there would be a major drop in his cards. But he did play well, and therefore a one-month trend his cards are actually only down 1%, so it's curious to watch, knowing when to sell and when not to sell, because if you had bought at the beginning of the month, and you had sold at the end of the month, you'd be down 1%, you basically broke even. But if you had bought at the beginning of the month and sold when he was having some of his dominant games, you would have done much better. So another case in point of knowing when to sell is more important than holding for a specific event. Like, if you expect the Avalanche to get back to the playoff or to the Stanley Cup Finals, well, it didn't happen, and now you broke even because he played amazingly, but you could have made money along the way. In our Instagram post of the day, we've got this Bobby Witt Jr. Topps Dynasty card and this Bobby Witt Jr. Bowman Chrome card. So the Topps Dynasty is a laundry tag one of one from the most recent 2022 Topps Dynasty. You can see the price there. Uh, sold for $8,500 on the 21st of uh, April. And then you also have this Bowman Chrome Gold Auto number to 50 from 2020 PSA 1010. So it's got the auto grade on there as well. And that sold for $79.50 on April 24th. So it's three days apart, about $500 apart. And the question here is, which one would you rather have right now and long term? Because Dynasty seems like it's ramping up to be the main maybe the main uh, driver for sports cards in the future for high end unless Panini acquires uh, or unless Fanatics acquires Panini. If they do that, I can't imagine a scenario where they go with Dynasty instead of National Treasures. But if Dynasty is the main driver and so then you end up with Dynasty NBA, Dynasty NFL as the quote-unquote National Treasures of these sports, all of a sudden, you know, this Dynasty card becomes a little bit more interesting. The, the patch is lame. The patch is lame because, you know, it's 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 a laundry tag. Uh, I re would rather have a four-color patch or a three-color patch in there than a laundry tag, right? But it's an interesting, it's an interesting thing. Like, which one do you choose, long-term and short-term? Because obviously the answer most people will give you, and the answer they should give you right now, is Bowman. Bowman is king in baseball. This is baseball. Bowman golds are historic. Uh, they are very sought after, more so than a, a lot of other colors. You probably have Super Fractor Red, Gold, and then Orange. Not Orange and then Gold, at least in my mind. And so, um, from, a, from a love standpoint, not necessarily maybe a value standpoint. And so, like, Bowman is the one you should choose right now. Because of how much and what Bowman means to the baseball market. But moving forward, they will have Bowman basketball cards, but they're not going to have Bowman first, like prospect cards for basketball or anything like that, unless it's just strictly college firsts. 
And so it is curious to see where Dynasty might go if it goes into other sports and how much that might mean and how much that might uptick this Bobby Witt Jr. compared to Bowman. So for me, short term, I'm 100% taking the Bowman. But if I'm betting long term on this and I don't think Fanatics is acquiring Panini, I think I spend the extra $500 and buy the Bobby Witt Dynasty, especially the uh, vertical as opposed to the horizontal, because I think long term, this could really be a massive, massive play. All right. And our last section is who's hot, who's not. And our who's hot of the day is Joe Pavelski. If you've never heard of this guy, he is a Dallas Stars NHL player. I know, two hockey subjects in one day. He is also from Plover, Wisconsin. So shout out to the Wisconsin boy. And now, officially, he is also the oldest player in NHL history to score four goals in a playoff game or otherwise. At 38 years, 295 days, he scored four goals in game one against the Kraken. They did lose the game in overtime, but it wasn't because of him. He scored four goals at 38 years, 295 days, which is the oldest player to ever score four goals in a game in the regular season or in the playoffs. Um, If you knocked it down to three goals, he would be the second oldest player in playoff history to score a goal or three goals, and he would miss the top mark by a measly 49 days. So very, very impressive outing from him. Very unexpected for the native Wisconsinite, especially because he just came back from a two-week hiatus due to a concussion injury. His first game back, a game that some people were not expecting him to play, And then he goes on and breaks history. And so you've got his Young Guns PSA 10 here. Um, There's not too many of them. A Pop 40 on this card. So a 2006 Young Guns PSA 10. Not a ton of them around. Well, this card is up 714% all time. Which is a really good number. (laughs) It's a gigantic number. But what's interesting here is that the last sale was on April 11th. And so now that he is in the history books, his name is firmly etched in there. And this will be a game that at least Dallas Star fans remember, even if they lost. And probably Kraken fans, because they'll remember that one guy that scored four goals against them and then lost. I'll be interesting to see what the next sale of this card sells for, because that happened on May 2nd. And this card last sold on uh, April 11th. So I am curious on if this amount of history... Oldest player to score four goals in a playoff game, or even just scoring four goals in a playoff game, will be enough to move a 38, almost 39 year old's market. And I will wait to find out, and I will be keeping track to see if we can figure out what will happen. All right, and one last thing before you go if you like this video but you want it in written form, you can sign up for the Slab Stocks Daily Slab email. Uh, If you go to slabstocks.com, it will be the first box you see to sign up. And you can put your email in there and get the Daily Slab email every single day. We have a different rotation of different things. So we have a uh, headlining section. We'll have a trender at the bottom. And then just introduced, we now have a middle section that will be looking at a rookie class or something like that for a certain year for one sport each day. So yesterday I did baseball looking at the 2020 Tops rookie class. So if that's something you're interested in, uh, in eBay links uh, on the weekdays and weekend, PWCC links on the weekend, uh, if that's something you're interested in, you can sign up at slabstocks.com. The first box you see to sign up, it will be the email sign up. You get that and you get that in your inbox seven days a week, 365 days a year. All right, thank you everyone for watching today's Daily Slab. If you enjoyed this video, please click that like button, and I will talk to you tomorrow for the next Daily Slab. See you, everyone.